Hello, uh, welcome to episode five of our Odo run. My name is Martin and this is, of course, uh, Stratch Hat. So I guess the thing we're really thinking about really is what is the best way to become the, um, the king or eventually the emperor, perhaps, of the whole of that big chunk of land, hang on, there, West Francia. Um, and um, I know some significant challenges uh, ahead. Um, but before I kind of like sort of do a little bit of analysis of that and think about you know, what our approach is, is going to be. I wanted to mention a couple of things from the uh, comments. First from Bo, um, known as uh, Showboot on, uh, in, uh, on YouTube. Uh, Bo has uh, pointed out that I can change the name of my son, which in fact is Showboot. Here we go. So I can change his name to uh, a much, much more realistic and french sounding let's uh, let's let's make that point bow ah it's a much much better name thanks bow for that suggestion i think that's a really good idea it's also pointed out that that this character historically duke Udes of uh, anjou uh, like me began a uh, cadet uh, family he began a began a house if you like but he did not call it House Robertine Dreux, he called it the Capet Dynasty. So we can see if we can change the name of the dynasty. And we might as well change our motto from Wisdom is Peace, which I think doesn't suit UDs at all, to uh, you, are, you can always change a name. I think that suits, suits the house perfectly. Okay, so that was the comment dealt with from, uh, from Bo. Um, Koyos made a very, very interesting point, um, hadn't occurred to me. The kingdom of, of Brittany can't be formed, or at least I can't form the kingdom of Brittany. And I think the reason I can't form it is the game won't let me because it would make me equal in rank to my liege. And um, the, you know, the rules of the game are that you can't do that. But he did point out that it's absolutely possible that when our chap here, King Charles II, dies, it may very well be that his sons inherit. Um, unfortunately, you can't look at King Charles the Bald's succession kind of like tab and, and see precisely what will happen, but you can only make, um, you can only sort of make, make guesses. The Kingdom of West Francia. Okay. So, so what I do know is the kingdoms that have been formed I know that a couple of them are going to uh, Louis the Stammerer and a couple of them are going to his other son, Prince Carlo Manno. So my assumption is that the Kingdom of Brittany will be formed on the death of King Charles II and given to one or other of the two, uh, the two boys. And here's a weakness of my, my play. I don't know how I find out what the kind of... Um, what kind of succession types type uh, King uh, King Charles II has? Presumably, it'll be Confederate partition, but I actually don't know, and I don't know how to check. There must be a way. Uh, look at this. Ah, here we are. So it will be inherited according to Kingdom of West Francia's male-only Confederate partition law. Yes. Yeah, so I think Koyos is quite right. Some I will get. Um, somebody will become the King of Brittany. Uh, but it won't. I won't lose the dukedom. I will still be the Duke of, of Brittany. Um, I still think it will be better if King Charles dies. If King Charles dies, this realm of West Francia will split into two between the two the, the two sons. It will be much easier, I think, to usurp whichever one ends up my liege be a lot easier to usurp that person's throne. So there's also two ways that we can usurp our um, king's uh, title. So if we right click on him, we can go down to uh, claim liege title. I could potentially claim um, well, the kingdom of Aquitaine or the kingdom of West Francia, either of these. If I was to try to do the kingdom of West Francia, it would cost 1,850. Ah, uh, but I'd also need to control at least 51% of the, 
of the counties and I mean I think I am nowhere near the prestige wouldn't be a problem it would take me a long long time to get 51 percent of the counties of West Francia yeah, and I mean I suspect I have like two or three you know like really really small uh, so so what Chris has suggested and I think that this is this may very well be the way that we go under meritocracy we can do the claim throne scheme now I don't know exactly how it works but it says here a hostile scheme that allows a character to gain a claim against their direct liege's primary title, presumably, uh, and you can't see what I'm, that I'm hovering over, over that, presumably, that's without this 51% uh, issue. Um, I think Chris is right. I think it'd be worth us getting meritocracy, start thinking about how that works. But we have, a, we have another another uh, problem at all. I, you know, I, sh I should shrink my head as we get into this. So that was like kind of answering the just talking about the comments really I think what I should do now is shrink my head and just look at some of the practicalities of making ourselves the king of West Francia so the, the the real issue is yes sure I could probably find a way of becoming of getting a, a claim this is the problem he has a military strength of 5,962 um, some of those are allies but at the end of the day this is a powerful actually no sorry that's his own that's his that's the force that he can call upon now if i'm rebelling against him uh, some of that force won't be available to him because it will be it will be with me so i've got to build up my military a little bit i've only got 1771 they're not even outstanding quality i think i need to i need to improve that a little bit uh, and i've got some scope to improve it also, I now have two sons. Those sons can marry. They can marry into families, perhaps Andalusia, maybe Lotharingia, or, East, uh, or even Italy. And we can perhaps bring in some really, really big um, allies when we eventually go to war for, for King Charles II's uh, throne. So all of those things uh, are important. But the question is, do I try to murder him and then go after the son that I become the liege of? because it will be a weaker target or but but I'll only end up with kind of half the ter ter territory that I'm currently looking at as West Francia and have to then unify it or do I take a bit longer to scheme it really really well and I take it from him himself I mean he's 60 years old nearly so it, you know, he may, it may be that he won't live a huge amount of time so this question may get taken out of my hands but I think it's quite an interesting one. I don't. I think it's completely possible if I have the time to build some strong alliances, um, scheme through the uh, factions thing against the king, get a couple of hooks on other important dukes. I think it's perfectly possible to overthrow King Charles II and take over the whole of West Francia as it appears here. But it would take longer and there's always the risk that he dies. But I suppose it's not really a risk that he that he dies because um, if I was going to kill him anyway, you know, I've got to do the same things to prepare for either war. So I think I'm just preparing for the war. I'm not going to try to, to murder uh, King Charles the Bald. Um, if he dies, it changes the plan a little bit. If he doesn't die, we go for him when the when he's ripe for the plucking, and, and we take over the whole of uh, whole of West Francia. Okay, right, I am going to need something to help me scheme against uh, King Charles. So, so this is, even it, when I get the administrator perk, I'm going to be able to scheme against him for a claim on his throne. Well, that's a scheme, and for that I think it would be useful if I had hooks in the area. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can get some hooks. Right, now my boys are very, very young, so I can always break off these. What I really want is an alliance with East Francia. Oh, that's actually a really, really nice alliance. <clears throat> He's got over 2,000 troops. Only bowmen, few onagers, but it's, it's, that's a useful alliance. I mean, that essentially is an alliance with King Carl II, the strange of East Francia, but they won't accept it. Unfortunately... King Carl's opinion of uh, Devon Capet isn't particularly good. It's going to be difficult for me to overcome these. I think it would really, really help 
if I was able to get uh, King Carl to like Devon more. It would also help if I didn't have too many alliances already. Let's have a look at my alliances. I do seem to have a lot of alliances. Let's go for let's go for for Devon, right? Will he take him as a ward? Surely that will make him like him more over time. But I'm not going to overcome that 60. I could overcome that 60. There is a way I could break these alliances. So for example, if I was to disinherit this chap or murder him, the point is that I could systematically reduce the number of alliances that I have. Right, I'm giving up on alliances, I think. Right, I've set my son to Lotharingia for literally no reason. I, I think I could break off some of these marriages if I... Sorry, some of these alliances if I if I needed to later on. All right, we just have to accept we're not going to be getting really powerful um, claim uh, alliances. Our next problem is how we really, really mucked up the knights and accolades. Okay, have we got any ladies in our court that we can use to attract men? We have my half-sister, but she's uh, she's no use to us. Okay, right, the first thing we're doing is we're looking for somebody who can be a good vanguard accolade. So let's have a look for athletic. Athletic. Anybody here that we can attract to court. I also need to have, I think it's above nine prowess. Okay, so let's put these chaps in order of prowess. And this job guy would do the job. Are they remotely interested in coming? Quite a lot of negatives there. Only down 45. If we only, if we only had uh, a, a royal court, we could attract him. Right, what might be easier is simply to attract females. I don't know what this positive is, is, is capped out at. Maria's opinion of me is plus 20, which is, sorry, plus 15, which is, um, you know, a proportion of the 37 of her opinion of me. Yeah, without the Royal Court, I think I'm really, really struggling to get people. Okay, I think what I need to do is literally go through all of my unmarried males, get them married, in the hope and the expectation that at some point some of them will die and then they'll have some, some spare females. Might as well pick people with these sorts of traits, actually, because if they have children, they might grow up and become vanguard accolades themselves. Yeah, robust is another one, isn't it? Their children may become great accolades. Right, let's see if we can find somebody with forest fighter. Number of knights goes up one. That's actually pretty good. So actually, I'm really, I'm really happy about this because I'll be able to improve the quality of my knight, of my archers and I'm going to be able to increase their size. I want to do the same thing with my armoured footman, but at the moment I can't. Okay, so, it's four to the size, so this should... This goes up to seven, like now up to seven archers. Okay, well that's a big improvement. I do, however, need a successor, so let's, uh, let's send somebody out. In the meantime, I've got to keep my eyes peeled for somebody with athletic, strong, hail, robust, or Herculean, so I can get Vanguard back and I can get my armoured footman up to up to decent strength. I need to look after my accoladed knights and I need to get them, uh, get their glory up as, as well. Right, lots of, uh, lots of marriages coming in. Super, it actually would be really interesting to have a look at my uh, courtiers and see if there's anybody coming of age. Gee, I might do a little bit of meditating in seclusion. Let's have a look, where shall I, now I don't know, I don't know this. Okay, when you meditate, should you go for the castle, for this place or one of these places um let's go safe and easy for now so annoying that i can't go for sable or my main let's send him to my bishop to to main and then to sable and get to and and, and, and I, I i need i mean i'm the duke of anjou and i don't control these two counties it's just silly so let's get a claim on them and we'll we'll go for them but for now Let's cut them off at the pass. Let's go for Alençon. My special troops are, are, are being worn away, aren't they? There's only 125 left. Oh, well. Uh, strategy is to go for Alençon, so we get ticking time score, and then we'll go for the capital, yeah, taking opportunities as they arise to, to defeat him in the field. Caught them. Um, a little bit of extra speed is very, very useful. Right. Battle is useful. 
Uh, we've killed 448 against nearly 300 of mine, so it's, it's not an overwhelming victory. That's worth remembering. Ah, we lost a... Oh, 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 oh. So this works perfectly. Right, we now have somebody who we can look for the relevant traits. So let's start with athletic. Okay, let's put okay, let's get let's reset default and then put in athletic. Then so we may just be about to get our second accoladed knight. Right, what's his right, only eight. Right, eight is not the most impressive knight ever, but it is worth saying that that is what you need. You need to be a level eight knight in order to become an accoladed knight. So let's get this chap in. I thought I was available, had two accolades available, clearly not. Okay, so we need to find out how to get um, more accolades available. Okay, so I can get another accoladed knight, I can have up to five, and another one if I become a king, that's not happening in a hurry. Another one if I become an emperor, certainly not happening in a hurry. The Banos or the knighthood innovation, or the glory dynasty, or glory dynasty legacy two. So banners or knighthood innovation. I think the knighthood innovation is very, very uh, late in the game. Let's just have a look at innovations. Uh, banners we have, which is where I'm getting the one I've got. Yeah, knighthood is right up there. Let's look at my family dynasty. Yeah, we're not even going down that, so we'd have to get to here. I mean, the glory tree is quite is quite a good one. Okay, so okay, a little bit um, a little bit disappointing, but what it means is that it's my archers that are going to be the ones really kind of having some additional power here. So while having dinner, a servant bursts into the room, slaps the goblet from my hand just as I'm about to take a sip. My lord, it's poison. One of the scurry mids could give her. She took a sip and she's dead. This was undoubtedly the work of the abhorrent ogre, Grand Prince. Heistine, oh my word. And he is a rival, because of course I took his land from him. I have a rival. It gives me the benefit of being watchful. It makes me a little bit safer. Okay, so I've, I've got a successor, so that at least is good. And he's a very good, he's a better, he's actually a better knight as well. Ah, it looks like those guys have just, oh, they just merged into one. Okay, he's coming for the battle. All right, this could go badly. Right, I've, I've, I've successfully retreated. I think I might need to white piece. Yeah, not great, but uh, at least, at least, uh, at least I haven't got absolutely uh, slaughtered here. Right, the king is dead. The king is dead. My liege is a child. Let's have a look at the overall political situation. Right, we now have two. This is going to be easier. Yeah, this is going to be easier. Still want West Francia, but now my liege only has 3,600 troops, plus their various alliances. Oh, I get 35 from, from Devon. Sorry, Devon. Um, that was a disaster, that war. Okay. Right, let's let our strength rebuild. A safe treatment, I think. Excellent work. Reduced symptoms. We're feeling we're feeling not too bad here. I think I need to just have a look at my age. 26. I'm still very, very young. So what do I do with high steam? Okay, I respond I respond to this defamation with a slew of my own insults. I like it. But it will cost me prestige. There are no real good options here. Okay. Right, I think we have to pay homage, don't we? Okay, so I'm back as a uh, steward. Money back up, which is really nice. Can we do anything to increase the size of our archers? Yes, excellent. Uh, Vol, we're nearly earning some decent money from Vol, which is absolutely fantastic. To get these archers up to full strength, I'm going to be on seven a month. That's, that's my current goal we're working towards. We're already on 6.5. Glad to be well again, that's really good news. Okay, we've got it, we got it, we got it. So there's a little bit of me wants to go down here, but I want to start exploring this meritocracy thing. So I've now got the claim throne scheme. Okay, let's have a look at the claim throne scheme. Okay, claim throne screen. It's actually very, very likely to succeed. 
I think there's no harm in getting it. Let's get the let's get the claim. Okay, we finished the task in Vol, so our marshal is now free to move somewhere else, and that's moved us up to six point seven. So that's really really good. To uh, to Nantes. Nantes is currently now not producing very much money, but we're on 33%. So I think by the time that gets to 100%, we will actually be earning um, above our seven uh, current target. We had an agent join this scheme, so I think that puts us on. Okay, well, let's do it. Well, I can use a hook on this chat, get us up to 95%. Okay, super. Oh, we've got loads of people joining. Okay, so I think we're going to get a claim. I think that's going to happen. Be really nice to have like a hook on someone like that. Okay, well, we're about to go into credit, which is good news. Now the army can finish building what it has, and now our money can start uh, going back up. We're near seven a month. Typically, we've got a poor pope. Absolutely brilliant. I'm practically paragon of virtue. Right, I have had the expiration of a, uh, an alliance. That might help us, actually. If too many exist alliances has gone down from 60 to 45. Um, yeah, that's making a difference. It's just about everybody has joined this this scheme. I don't think you can get it above 90%. How's Andre doing with money? Well, he's earning five a month, so let 0.5 months, so why don't you just hang on to him? There's a good chance of losing some stress, so let's just go on this hunt. Relatively cheap way of um, losing a little bit of stress. Right, presenting the evidence, right. Ooh, this is interesting. So I'm about to, with any luck, I'm about to get a claim. Nothing can stop me now. Okay, all right. Let's get, let's get back from the hunt. My word. I've just gained 50 gold and lost 20 stress. That was a nice little bonus. But I lost enough stress to go back down to the lower level, so that's nice. Okay, let's leave the adventure for now. Okay. I'm quite pleased with the outcome of that. It's got me down to a reasonable level of stress and it's actually given me quite a little bit of money. Oh, okay, accolade lost rank. So I can declare war against him for my claims. He has 6,000 troops. I've got 4,496. That's obviously including allies. Well, let's do a faction against my liege. And what we really need is people joining. But this is the guy we really want to join. Interesting here is you don't get any direct indication of what you need to change in order to get these people to join. I mean, he doesn't like his liege. That's good. He's also not very keen on me. Probably would help if I was swaying him. Right, let's see if we can bring him in. Head of faith, ask for gold. Well done. Well done, Pope. And how powerful is Aquitaine? Ooh, Aquitaine is weak. I do not have a caster spell either. Okay, so I got the claim. It's going to take me some time to bring some people in to support me. Yeah, so we're working on uh, we're working on this chap here. But I'm convinced that eventually we're going to be able to bring him in. I mean, do you know what? Here, just just out of thought, can I try and seduce him? Because I'm already scheming against him. I actually, I mean, so let's let's scheme against him. Let's try and become more friendly with him, get him to like us more, and maybe we should consider. He's homosexual. Perhaps we should consider seducing him. Maybe that's something that will um, will work. But we're also hoping to get hooks on him um, in this way. But what might be better is changing out of this tree at some time very, very soon, and heading into the intrigue tree. Now, my intrigue is not very high, but truth is relative, enables the fabricate hook scheme. We get a few hooks on a few people and, and just simply force them to, to join uh, my, my faction. Already got three members. So, it, so this is me, I'm powerful. So this is a very unpowerful, um, in fact, my brother-in-law, a very unpowerful chap. But it's quite good to see there are already people joining in. And he has um, you know, some bowmen, he has all these levies, but all of these, you know, some of these troops were, are earmarked for my liege, and he's losing those. 
when those two ally when those two people join. So we yeah we need things like Neustria, and I think that's what we've got to work on next time. Preparing for this war. I mean this guy has one thousand four hundred troops. It'd be nice to have all those three, maybe even maybe even all these four, five maybe join. Right, um, feel free to, 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 to comment and let me know what kinds of things influence, I mean obviously getting a hook is, is, is key, but what kinds of things influence people joining the scheme? Um, you know, I need all of the most powerful uh, men and women in the, in the, in the realm to, to join me. Uh, obviously I've got to carry on preparing myself. Um, I need disastrous difficulties with my accolades this time, this time round, but um, I don't understand why he is so rubbish that he's not even at, at rank one. It's, uh, unbelievable. Glory 94. Right, I need to be 100, so I need a little bit more glory. Okay, I think what I might do is just take him on a hunt or something like that. I think that would probably do the do the trick. But I need to get these, these, these other dukes in on the action. Um, I also do need to build up and improve my military, and I think the probably the way to be doing that is is through is perhaps through uh, through buildings um you know here we have we have this can we go to number two and uh, no because we don't have the barracks innovation this might be quite a good thing to do just to build up our money to improve that somewhat but it's kind of annoying that i'm so limited on how powerful my military can be I mean, I've already got 370. I mean, there's no reason why I can't get some pretty tough mercenaries. Okay. All right. So next time is all about preparing for us to sort of to, to light up this um, this faction um, and 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 see if we can claim claim the throne. We need to have really all of the most powerful people joining us. We need to be somewhat more powerful as as well. Uh, we'll be back on. Friday. Uh, in the meantime, you take care of yourselves and we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.